Welcome back guys, Dead Rising Remastered Edition's demo is available on Steam Store. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my ROG Ally running on Windows 11 and Steam Deck running on SteamOS. Now Capcom calls it a remaster, but it looks more like a remake. The game is powered by RE Engine, yes you heard it right. It supports DLSS frame generation but does not support FSR frame generation. So I'll be showing you how to enable FSR version 3.1.2 frame generation in this game using DLSS enabler mod. The setup process is not straightforward all thanks to RE engine. I'll be using RE framework to get DLSS enabler mod working. First I'll show you the setup process for ROG LA Windows. We'll be using this version of DLSS enabler 3.02.000.0. You can download it for free from DLSS enabler's github page. I'll give its link in the description. This build supports AMD's anti lag 2 tech that helps in reducing the latency. Scroll down. Expand Asset section, click on the EXE link. This build of DLSS enabler supports FSR 3.1.1. I'll be using 3.1.2. Just go to this website and download the latest Fidelity FX SDK. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down, expand Asset section, click on the dot zip link. We'll be using version 1.5.8 of RE framework. We'll give its link in the description of the video. Scroll down, expand asset section and click on dd2.zip Open file explorer, go to downloads directory Here you will find all of the downloaded files There they are, I have transferred them to another folder Folder name, rising, you can name it anything you want Ok, first we need to initialize RE framework Just open dd2.zip file Copy this dll file, deinput it Copy Now open the games install directory Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, browse local files. This is the game's install directory. Paste the DLL file here, like this. Now just launch the game, play. Upon launch, RE Frameworks menu should pop up automatically like this. Just wait for the settings to load up, there you go. Now we can exit the game. Close the menu, exit. Now just go back to the game's install directory. Here you will find some new folders like RE framework and underscore storage underscore. This means RE framework has been initialized. Just copy the game's install directory. Need to run DLSS enablers setup file. Double click. I accept. Next. Next. Paste the game's directory here. Next. Select this option. Install as a dbg help.dll file. Check this option as well. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Ally has an AMD based GPU, Radeon 780M. Next, install. Wait for the process to complete. Uncheck this setting, finish. Now I'll be updating FSR version. Just open Fidelity FX SDK.zip file. Open bin folder. Copy this DLL file AMD Fidelity FX DX12. Paste it in the games install directory. This file will already be present here. There it is. Overwrite it. Replace. Now open nvngx.inf file. There it is. Generator is set to auto by default. Just set it to FSR 31. Reflex on. Reflex emulation set to auto. Scroll down. Look for TX12 upscaler under upscaler section. Just set it to XCSS. If you want to use FSR 3.1 upscaler, set it to FSR 31. This is XCSS version 1.3.1. Click on File, Save, Close. That's it. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest preview GPU driver, which is optimized for Dragon Age the Veilguard. Using a 25 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Start the game. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 mass gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Adrenaline settings for the game. Enable free sync and vsync. That's it. Make sure adrenaline overlay is disabled, otherwise the game will crash. Click on the settings box here. Click on preferences. In game overlay. Disabled. Using a custom afterburner wallet to show you the performance metrics. In this game, we play as a journalist, Frank West, who is stuck in a mall with zombies. Help will arrive in 72 hours, so it's up to him to find out the truth behind the incident before it's too late. 
in game graphics setting 900p resolution no fps cap applied display mode full screen vsync off texture quality set to medium 0.5 gb texture filtering set to high shadow quality medium dlss upscaler enabled it's basically xcss upscaler using its quality preset frame generation disabled for the time being nvidia reflex setting enabled dlss enabler replaces reflex with anti lag 2 mesh quality medium effects enabled motion blur disabled and that's it we are in i am at paradise plaza in the mall here fps is a bit variable 40 to 50 in this particular area is demanding on both cpu and gpu image quality is looking decent not observing any graphical artifacts around frank's character model i have two companions with me hitting the gpu bottleneck here to get the zombies oh my god i'll just swing my bat can observe the sluggishness 37 fps here yeah, this area is very demanding I'll just enable frame generation see the sluggishness frame generation on back to the game FPS increased to around 65 now can observe the added amount of smoothness input delay is manageable game third elements are not flickering as this game supports DLSS frame generation the HUD elements appear to be superimposed on the game's display see through effect when I move the camera in complete circles oh no zombie grab me audio is not hitching I'll just drop the resolution to 720p in order to improve the performance screen resolution set to 720p apply back to the game yeah fps increased to around 80 after dropping the resolution from 900p to 720p image quality is still looking decent not bad no artifacts we are still hitting the gpu bottleneck i'm just running around the mall <laughs> dead Sometimes the game crashes on the next one if you have DLSS upscale and frame generation settings enabled from the in-game settings. I'm not sure what exactly causes this crash. I'll show you a fix for this. I have these settings enabled. Now I'll close the game. Alt F4. And just open the in-game settings. Only do this if your game is crashing at startup with a mod installed. In the games installed directory, look for config.ini file. Open it. Scroll down until you find this line of text PC Graphics DLSS. It is set to 4. Just need to set it to 0. PC Graphics DLSS G. This is for frame generation. You need to set it to 1. Both settings will be disabled now. File, save, close. Now launch the game. We are in in game settings. You can see DLSS subscaler and frame generation settings are disabled now. Now I'll be showing you the setup process for Steam Deck. In this game, DLSS enabler causes a regression in the base game's performance. So, first I'll be running the game without any mod using G Proton version 9 16 as the compatibility layer. Need to force the game to run at 720p resolution in order to avoid frame generation related artifacts. Just click on the settings cog here, properties, general, game resolution, select 720p. Connected my Cosmic Bytes Stellaris gamepad to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck, performance QM settings, volume level set to 3, disable frame limit and allow tearing settings, enable, uncap the FPS, that's it. In game settings 720p resolution. Mod won't work properly at 800p resolution. You will observe some graphical artifacts. That's why I have set the resolution at 720p. Frame rate variable, display mode full screen, vsync off. Texture quality set to low 0 GB. Texture filtering me beg your pardon, medium. Try linear. FSR 3 upscale enable using its quality preset. 
game supports FSR3 upscaler but not FSR3 frame generation. Effects disable upscale sharpness 50%. Shadow cast setting enabled. Motion blur off. That's it. Do it the same sequence. Paradise Plaza. Yeah, here FPS is around 37. You can see we are not hitting the GPU bottleneck. 90% GPU load. So the game's performance seems to be limited by the single core CPU performance. Gameplay is a bit choppy, 33 to 44 FPS. Running around. I <laughs> look at this zombie. Get his we weapon. It's a hunting knife. Drop my gun. You can cap the FPS at 30 for a more stable experience. Entirely up to you. 30 FPS there. FPS is all over the place. Now I'll install DLSS enabler. Switch to SteamOS desktop mode. First download the mod version 3.02.000.0. Just scroll down. Expand assets section. Click on the exe link. Now download version 1.5.8 of RE framework. Links will be given in the description. Expand asset section. Click on dd2.zip file. Now download Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.2. Again scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .zip link. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on Downloads. Here you will find the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to this folder, Dead Rising, in Downloads directory. You can name it anything you want. First, we'll initialize RE framework. Open dd2.zip file. Double click. Just extract this DLL file. De input it. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this. Close. There's the file. Copy it. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files. This is the game directory. Paste. Now we need to add a launch command to the game. Select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text, I will provide it in the description of the video. Now just launch the game. RE framework got initialized. You can close it, need to exit the game now. Exit. Now I will show you the games directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. I have installed the game on an SD card, Amazon Basics A2 rated speed. SD card directory, Steam library, Steam apps, common, there's dead rising, demo, this is the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. We'll be using Proton Tricks to install DLSS enabler. You can download Proton Tricks for absolutely free from Discover Store. Select dead rising, click on OK, wait for the next window to pop up, can take about 5 to 6 seconds. Check this option, select the default file breaks, click on OK. Check this option, run explorer, click on OK. Wait for the next window to pop up. There it is. Now we need to navigate to the directory where DLSS enabler setup file is present. Open my computer, open C drive, open home folder, open deck folder, open downloads folder. Look for DLSS enabler. There's the correct version. Double click. This window will pop up. I accept. Next. Next. Click on Browse, navigate to the Games Install directory. In my case, it's the SD card. There's Dead Rising folder. Select it. This is the final directory. Next, check the dbghelp.dll file option. Check this option. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Self explanatory. Next, install. Wait for the process to complete. Done. Uncheck this option. Finish. Close. Open the games install directory where you install the mod. Here look for a file name nvngx.ini. There it is. Open it. Generator is set to auto. Change it to FSR31. 
reflex on reflex emulation auto this build supports anti-lag 2 under upscaler section just set dx12 upscaler to xcss it's version 1.3.1 save close now i'll update fsr just open fidelity fx sdk dot save file open bin folder scroll down until you find this dll file amd fidelity fx dx12 extract it drag and drop it outside of this window and there it is copy paste it in the games directory where you install the mod and this file will already be present here need to overwrite it now we need to edit the launch option select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here properties after the first double inverted comma add dbg help comma i'll give the complete line of text in the description of the video you can copy it from there and paste it here now we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam os gaming mode still using the same compatibility layer g proton version 9-16 we are in in game settings should be able to enable DLSS subscaler now disable FSR 3 first yeah DLSS super resolution I'll just set it to quality frame generation disable for the timing reflex enabled rest of the settings are left as it is I'll load the same sequence load the same sequence here FPS is around 26 before installing the mod FPS was slightly above 30 33 to 40 it's not the case here 24 to 30 fps look at that choppiness not hitting the gp bottleneck i'll just enable frame generation on optiscalar menu popped up back to the game fps increased to around 56 56 to 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness frame generation is working even on steam deck but gameplay can be a bit sluggish gameplay suddenly transition from smooth to sluggish depending on the area see 47 fps I'll just enable manual GPU clock setting. Set the clock speed to 1400 MHz. Still getting 47 to 57 FPS. Not impressed by frame generation's performance on Steam Deck in this game. It's up to you. You can run the game even without it. DLSS enabler caused a regression in the base game's performance. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.